Hello everyone, Mesolite Visual here with another video. In today's video, we're going to look at how to model for quantifying and costing in ArchiCAD workflow. In today's video, I have a template that we're going to use. It's MS Beam template that is currently running online. I'll put the link in the description so that you can go and download so you can follow along. This template consists of uh, saved uh, or presets of views, layouts, and uh, schedules for reporting. This is basically the part that we're going to focus more on to it. Um, it has an extensive uh, favorites for all objects and tools in this library. It's pretty much having all the or everything that uh, has to be in a very good template. So another file that we're going to uh, look at here is where these favorites have been derived from. It's basically a virtual library that consists of more than 1.5 objects objects and tools that are also saved um, as presets um, using the CSI uniformat class for organizing and structuring of our our data we're pulling in, into these uh, models. <clears throat> um, another file that is also in this workflow is the the Excel uh, spreadsheet template. This is basically a, a BOQ template that is being linked with the um, Archicad uh, template. Yeah, as you can see here, these are the summary of the cost of the material and the labor of, of this building. So it has pretty much all activities that are, are in a BOQ file. As you can see, a brick work up to the external works. Yeah, um, the part that is very, very interesting in this template is the ArchiCAD metadata. This is where we are pulling in data from ArchiCAD and it's been organized by the uh, categories of our BOQ structure. As you can see, the substructure uh, data elements will be in this portion or in this part your big feeling compaction the foundation uh, brickwork and other likes yeah and then it has um, some subfolder that consists of a bill of quantities uh, structure as you can see okay so in this case let us start the exercise by looking at creation of a foundation and then I'm going to do quantifying or putting cost in these foundations okay so we're gonna go back to the virtual library in here we're going to more like um, picking content or having an idea of the the elements that are going to use for our modeling you can also do it in, in, in using favorites but the good part of of using a virtual library is because it gives you the physical and 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 the graphical representation of these elements in your drawings. For example, you can also check this in 3D. These are basically the walls and uh, the retaining walls. But like I said, we're gonna do a foundation. So we're gonna focus under footing substructure. I'm gonna pick the footing for foundations and then walls for foundations. Then I'm gonna copy these two files or two elements. Wait it for the copy in the clipboard, and then go back to the template file, a blank template file. So this is an indication where you're supposed to place your 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 elements. More so, it's a preset of uh, views so that it can extract data automatically into sheets. Right, let me get rid of the favorites. Control V to paste copied files from the virtual library. There we go. Let us quickly sketch or draw or model um, a quick foundation. Mm, do that, go that way. Give it a shape like that. Like so. Perfect. This is just a uh, foundation wall. And then I'm gonna place the 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 footing. So I'm gonna do the same above the the walls. Do the 
Yes. Perfect. And we can also appreciate it in in 3D. Yeah, this is basically it. This is basically our foundation. And then if you go under the folder for reports, for bill of quantities reports, and then if you check here, there's um, subcategories of the structure for the for the bill of quantities. We have schedule of areas, we have the substructure elements. So you can see all the elements of the substructure being reported here. And then the shell are the all the reports or all the elements that are consists of the the building envelope are also reported in this part. So we're gonna focus only under the substructure. So if you check, for example, we have foundation walls and then we have footing for concrete. So if we check here, sorry, concrete for footing. So if you check the brickwork in foundation schedule, already there's a data that is being reflected here. You can match or unmatch. The most important thing about the uh, reporting the the bricks or brickwork for costing is the surface area. The surface area that determines the pricing or the cost of the brick. So this is the data that we're going to use to export it to the Excel template. And if you check another uh, report under footing concrete, there we go. This is being um, estimated or the cost has been derived from what? The volume for, con for concrete. So if you unmatch this, you also check whether there are uh, quite a number of uh, elements there under the concrete. If you go back to the, if you go back to the floor plan and then adjust, adjust or edit, edit the footing design like so. Maybe have that one go all the way like that. Perfect. Automatically, the, the volume of this data will be updated. So now this is the information that we need to export to the Excel. So we're going to do it this way. Go to file and then save as under the format, change it to tabbed text, the txt file format. And then you find who in this template already is in preset so i'll just replace the one i have and then from there that's now the role for excel spreadsheet comes into play under metadata we have substructure and then the footing footing for foundations this is the information we want to quantify here under reinforced concrete from our foundations so we have different um, activities there we've got strip footings and then we have surface beds basis these are all concrete works under our foundations so if you check here this is information has been linked with the metadata architect metadata file from here so whatever uh, changes or activities that happens here they affects all these categories of uh, bill of quantities I guess it, it it makes a lot of sense so now we need to bring in the uh, exported data from Agiket here so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to data having selected the the, 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 the cell of that particular uh, data I want to represent so under footing concrete go to data and then refresh so that to bring in our newly created or our newly saved or exported um, information so the volume now is 10.3 so if you go back to our foundation report we check here already now it's been replaced or is automatically updated here so in this um uh, bill of quantities uh, structure we have the unit and then quantity together with the rate and then the amount as a cost of the activity so 
like I said, concrete, we use, we use um, volumes to quantify or to put cost. So it's, this is the rate. It's uh, 1,000 pula per cubic meters. In, in my region, we use pulas. Pulas is equivalent to, to 10 US dollars. So it means we have 10 cubic meters that is going to be multiplied by the rate so that we can get the total cost of the strip footing activities. It makes sense, right? I hope it makes sense. Let's, let's do it for the brickwork. Let's find the brickwork. We have brickwork here. So it has been uh, quantified or the cost has been derived from the surface area. If you go back to the ArchiCAD file and then find brickwork in foundation, you check with uh, also quite a number of elements here that has been derived from the, the model. So here we are using surface area so that you can determine number of bricks and multiply it by the rate per brick. So let us export this information to our Excel template. So make sure you change also to tapped text and then replace uh, this. So already I've created this system guys for, for this. For you, I will just put the link in the description so that you can download. You just replace all those elements and then automatically to update your your reports. From here, we go back to Arcade Metadata and then let's find now the brickwork under the substructure. Brickwork and foundation. There we go. So we've got brickwork and foundation and then also the reinforcement the reinforcement of this particular brick so i'm going to select this cell for brickwork and then under data let's go to refresh and then import there we go the information is being updated and then if you go to your your foundation report under the brick walls and foundation this is the the cubic meter, I mean the surface area of the total of all the walls, sorry, in the fo footing or in the foundation. So the rate is 290. So this is the cost of which is the rate multiplied by the area, the surface area of this brick. Okay, I hope it makes sense, guys. Um, thank you for your your time i'll see you in the next video make sure you guys to download this it's, it's a very robust system that we've created make sure you go down to in, in the description and check the link so that you can download this um, template bye i'll see you in the next video